Now, a world-class automated weather station has been launched at the Tswane University of Technology. The station will monitor local conditions, especially as an early warning system for storms. The facility is the first of its kind to be based at a university in South Africa. Well, for more on this, we're joined by the university's engineering lecturer, Christopher Allnut. Uh, Christopher, good morning. Thank you very much for coming in. Good morning, Dan. Thank Firstly, you for having me. Yeah, what is an automated weather station and why do we need it? Why do we need an automated weather station? Yeah. Well, I'm from the Faculty of Engineering. So when it comes down to engineering, we as engineers need rainfall data. Um, in the light of the recent floods we've seen, um, a rainfall station is one of the things we need as engineers because we gather, we need, we use the data from weather stations to determine peak, uh, peak discharges and um, ultimately peak runoff. Um, and so, in essence, rainfall data is the most important. Uh, thing you need to measure now, at a station. Now, this one is going to be at the TUT? Yes, this one is on our campus. Um, it's the first of its kind on a, at, at a university. Um, I believe it's the only one in SA at, at a South African university. Are you collaborating with the weather service? The yes, the we are. Uh, service? On the 17th of May, um, oh, the 17th of April rather, we signed a memorandum um, of agreement between the South African Weather Service and TUT. So at, on this day, we had our Vice Chancellor, um, Professor Lawrence von Staden, and um, this, the acting CEO, uh, Mr. Ndabambi, Ndabambi, and, and they, they launched the, the station officially. Now, now, you mentioned rainfall. You need to get, is it mainly about rainfall, or is it also about local weather conditions beyond rainfall? Yes, so the station will be, uh, will be monitoring, for example, humidity, temperature, um, sub daily rainfall and daily rainfall and also the wind direction wind speed uh, the normal parameters that that you normally measure but it's all automated it's it's sense it's linked up with the South African Weather Service network oh that's why it's automated so it's all going to be happening seamlessly as the data is coming in is being collected it's going to be sent through to the National Weather Service yes exactly and it's also going to be used at our local um, radio station or campus radio. we have actually two radio stations on uh, the different so campuses. You, you're going to be having accurate weather forecasts uh, yes, at the local yes. level are you going to be using it because you are TUT uh, are there plans to use it as part of uh, training and uh, at, at the Institute yes that's one of the great uh, reasons why we decided to take on this project is as we know unemployment is quite high so and and the CEO also noted that there is a, a dire need of climatologists at the moment and so it's our way of helping them also spread the word of, of um, saying that weather is important and we need to monitor it and we need to build databases, um, historical data, so that we can use it, in f our future generations can use it. And for, ex for example, the, f the, the, the rainfall we had more than 200 millimeters over the past few weeks. In Durban, in yes, Durban. and parts uh, of the Eastern Cape. You know. Yes, 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 so it's important that we, we, we measure those, uh, those readings. And um, we need a network of rainfall stations, automated, rainfall stations all across across SA and so there has been a slight decrease in the number of rainfall stations so this is just our way uh, as a university trying to to help help yeah. out as a, we, we, this is going to be based uh, at the TUT which which campus particularly I'm just asking this because if it's local conditions I just want to understand how wide is the area that is going to be covering it's basically going to cover the the, uh, the entire Pretoria West area um, the Shushun, basically all the way up to Shushunguvi, okay. the Shushunguvi campus. So uh, it, the, the radius is quite big. Yeah, now fr from a, uh, a benefit perspective, I guess maybe the partnership with the weather service is the biggest benefit and you feeding into that from yes. local weather conditions. I mean, we are all seized with weather stories recently with a cyclone in Mozambique, Can with the storms in, in Eastern Cape and KwaZulu Natal last week. It's like top of mind at the moment. Yes, so uh, it, it becomes important. Um, to me as an engineer, um, it's, uh, I've been doing research in, in the field of catchment response. So uh, it, it becomes very important to me as an individual to see that 
we're growing the network. And we, we also have something that, that's visible, something that students can touch, that they can see, and they can realize the importance of it. Yeah, and over time, of course, the, the training benefits the training for that's the students as well, the teachers yes, yes. who are in this, uh, who will be studying anything that's weather-related is going to be very positive. South, the South African Weather Services, they've actually said that they, they, they're going to give students in-service training regarding the, the building of the components. There's actually, um, uh, at TUT, we've got uh, hubs they call uh, technology stations, headed by Dr. Jacobs. Um, so and these stations are based uh, are around tooling and building components. So hopefully at the, uh, through this partnership with the South African Weather Service, we'll be able to build components for new weather stations. Wow, it's always exciting. Thank you very much for sharing this new development there. It's the first of its kind, world-class automated weather station is going to be, has been launched at the Tswane University of Technology in collaboration with the South African Weather Service. And telling us all about it and its benefits was